I think we can all agree that uh, 2020 was a really weird year, <laughs> full of blindsides. I mean, we got the COVID, right, and the pandemic, a complete and total shutdown of our country. Oh yeah, uh, murder hornets, remember those? That wasn't great. But on the flip side, we also had the most epic year of camera releases maybe ever. It was like the uh, 1996 NBA draft. Be. Cameras like the Fuji X-T4, Canon R5 and R6, the Canon C70, Sony's A7S III, and FX6 Blackmagic dropped their 12K Ursa. All of those cameras came out that year. Perhaps the biggest curveball of them all, though, the one nobody saw coming, was Red releasing the Komodo late in 2020. And the reason I say it's probably the biggest curveball because Red is known for making pretty expensive cameras. But the Komodo, when it was released, cost only $6,000. And just kind of give me, if you can, the feeling of unboxing the Stormtrooper, because that was your, that's your first red, right? That was my very first red. This is, a, this is happening, I, I have a red camera. <laughs> it was always a dream, you know, like when you start filmmaking, you always, always like see the red logo everywhere and you see the images and you're like, oh my God, if I had this, you know, I could do X, Y, and Z. You know, it's not like it was affordable, but it was the first time that Red really gave an opportunity to someone like me, someone that thought they would never own a Red, the opportunity to do so. And this is mine right here, my Komodo. This is not a Stormtrooper. This is a black one. I just put a skin on it. I love this camera. Uh, something about the size, the form factor, the codec, I don't know, there's some special sauce to this camera and I absolutely love shooting on it. And so for the last two years, I have taken it everywhere with me. I shot uh, a video, a 24 hour challenge for Whoop in Hawaii. I shot the Manhattan Beach Open, the granddaddy of all beach volleyball tournaments for the AVP and took it to Yosemite for Firefall. It is my favorite camera was my favorite camera. You see, Jared Land, the CEO of RED, just leaked the new Komodo X, a more capable version of the Komodo. And then just a few weeks later, it went on sale. I mean, how crazy was yesterday? Absolutely nuts. I mean, that was a rumor like two weeks ago. I have no idea how they kept this under wraps. It was literally on no one's radar, and then in less than two weeks, it's shipping. Yeah, I expected it just to be an announcement, but the fact that they were taking orders and shipping them is amazing. Uh, when do you get yours? I think it shows up today.
What's up, everybody? Well, here it is, the red Komodo X. Oh my God, I love shooting on this camera. Why would I pick up this if I already had a Komodo? I've said many times, the regular Komodo, my favorite camera of all times, but it's not as functional as something like a C70, like what I'm shooting on now. So if they ever made a more functional version of the Komodo, something that's more A-cam friendly, A-cam ready, I'd definitely pick one up. And I did, and I'm very, very lucky that I could. I feel very fortunate that I was able to get one. Would I be getting rid of my Komodo now that I have this? No, and that's because much of the corporate stuff that I shoot involves two to three camera interviews and being able to operate both off a single iPad app is actually pretty incredible. I'm thinking about picking up a third just so I could run all three cameras off of one singular iPad. And the Komodo has sentimental value and it is still very functional in that it's it can be uh, rigged in a smaller uh, form factor than this. Like I'm going to keep this one rigged up and I'll use that one stripped down for like a gimbal or FPV drone or something like that. So no, I will not be getting rid of them both. How does it compare? Well, this isn't going to be a comparison video, but basically everything that the Komodo does, this just does so much better. And we'll get into that. So if that is something you're interested in seeing, if you want to see how the Komodo X performs in comparison to the original and other cameras, make sure you subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.